Ariana Grande is ruining SpongeBob's marriage. And I, I can't believe that's not an exaggeration. If you have no idea what's going on in the world of pop drama right now, Congratulations, you're a, you're a functioning adult. But if you have TikTok installed on your phone that you sniff for even a few seconds every day, then doubtlessly you've caught wind of the Ariana Grande situation. No, not the time she licked donuts. No, not the time she talked about Pete Davidson's wee wee in a song. And no, not the time she made Jeanette McCurdy act alongside a wooden box. Ms. Grande is known for a lot of things, usually music, but most recently she's been making waves in regards to her apparent pension for slaying marriages. <laughs> Back in 2014, she dated fellow music artist Big Sean, minutes after he slashed his relationship with Glee star Naya Rivera. Then there was Miss Grande's arguably most well-known relationship with SNL starlet Pete Davidson, America's Little Sweetheart. Minutes after he slashed his own relationship with fellow actress Cassie David, who first dashed onto the scene in the hit Disney Channel sitcom Hannah Montana, playing a, playing a whoever this is. He's Larry David. He's created Seinfeld and I don't know. <laughs> I don't have Disney Plus to go and confirm who this character is. Apparently her name is also Cassie, according to the IMDb page, which if I could just tangent for a second and ask, what the flying flip is going on with Mitchell Musso? 90 some episodes of Hanmon wasn't enough to sock away for the Roth IRA, I guess. Now he's, uh... <laughs> I, I, now I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Kind of scary. And now her latest squeeze is none other than SpongeBob SquarePants. I <laughs> cannot make this up. Ethan Slater, actor, writer, singer, composer, best known for playing SpongeBob in the musical of, you guessed it, Saw. Just recently, the two of them went public with their relationship, which if you, if you have a mountain of free time on your hands, you'd notice that things are starting to not add up. Mr. Slater, what's going on here? You just had a baby like eight months ago. You got your cardinal three pillars in life, Mr. Slater. Your wife, your child, and SpongeBob, Mr. Slater. Where does Ariana Grande fit into all this? Which, I, I don't know, it's, it's a little weird. I mean, like, like, what are you doing? What are you doing down in the theater? Mosh pitting with the kids, watching SpongeBob the musical, huh? Evidently, they met in December of 2022 on the set of Wicked, a movie that takes place in the Wizard of Oz universe, where Ariana Grande plays the fabled Good Witch Glinda, and Ethan Slater plays the Munchkin Buck. <laughs> I can't imagine. Roll of a lifetime. The Munchkin Buck. <laughs> the munchkin box. And then three months later, in March of 2023, a paparazzi would tell the Daily Mail that Ariana and Ethan were all over each other at Michelle Yeoh's Oscar party. Which, come on, they were probably just like wrestling each other in sumo suits. Everyone knows Michelle Yeoh likes to have sumo suit wrestling at her parties. It's kind of a weird thing for her. She doesn't really like when people talk about it. And then, four months after that, in July of 2023, a paparazzi tells Page Six that Slater's wife was completely blindsided by his relationship with Grande. It's horrible. They were high school sweethearts. They have a baby. She's a wreck, a source said. This rat of a man threw away a deep-rooted relationship that he and her cultivated for over 10 years. All because the self-delivering cheese platter made its way over to him? All because the self-delivering cheese platter was moshing with the kids at the SpongeBob musical? Now to a normal person, yes, even a normal home wrecker, uh, this level of public shaming would be an undying nightmare. But oh no, this is not a normal person now, is it? This, this is the fabled, this is the fabled donut liquor. Just slurp your eyes out. Just cut your hands off, she'll, she'll make shoelaces out of your hair. Two decide to remain silent, all while doing absolutely nothing to conceal that they're together. And then, in an unprecedentedly unhinged PR move, in January of this year, yes, just a couple weeks ago, Ariana Grande releases a new single titled Yes And, signaling that she's... that she's into improv. She's Going to Groundlings, good for her. Your business is yours and mine is mine. Why do you care so much? Who's wee wee I ride? <laughs> if you read between the lines of these lyrics here, you may infer that this song is her way of responding to all the criticism that's come her way 
over this whole ordeal. And you know what? At the end of the day, you're right. Like, why, why do I care so much about how you, a celebrity who I will never, ever meet, ever, destroys your own life and the lives of those around you? What are you doing? Where are you going? Why, why are you backing away? What are you, what are you looking at? What if, oh my gosh, is that her brother? <laughs> yep. Mm, yeah. Somehow, the biggest twist of this whole thing is the most recent discovery that Ethan Slater he bears a striking resemblance to Frankie Grande, Ariana's actual literal brother. It's one of those things where like, yeah, they do have some similarities, but I also like can't help but feel like it's ever so slightly cherry picked because well, yes, these two images do make them look like mere clones of each other. But if you took any other two images of them, they look nothing alike. But whoops, too late now. TikTok's gotten all of it, so. So you know it's never going away. It's off into the stratosphere. No, no, my balloon. Come back. My balloon of misinformation. Nobody's gonna fact check this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I care about who's wee wee you right, Ariana. I, I made this video because I thought it'd be funny. But I, the whole ordeal does feel skeevy, right? Like, how boring does being rich and famous get? Honestly, that celebrities do this sort of thing. You know, you know, struggle for however many years, like towing the line of hard work, hiking the mountain of the grind, only to give up and drop all your equipment when you hit the top? It's disturbing, honestly. But it's whatever, you know, it's, it's celebrities. I think what's truly messed up in these situations is, is the collateral damage, you know? All the torn away girlfriends or fiancés even, or Ariana's husband who, was, who she divorced so she could just do this. And I mean, like, make no mention of Ethan Slater's child who's gonna grow up and hear tale of his father, a singing square pants who left his mom the second that he landed the role of the munchkin bog, right? <laughs> I mean, can't blame him though. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't struggle with an ego after landing on the roll of the Munchkin Bog? It's awful. It's gross, and and you shouldn't follow in this weirdo's example. Why do you care? She's right. You shouldn't care or give any sort of thought to her or what she does at all, because very little of it clearly gives any value or does any good for anybody other than her own selfishness. So whatever. Get her what she wants. Anyway, that's uh, that's all from me. Sub subscribe if you want more nonsense from me. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I'll probably make another one of these soon. Not about Ariane. I mean, who knows? Maybe she does something else. Maybe she'll write. Maybe she'll. Maybe she'll go. Maybe she'll kidnap the kid. I don't know. Oh, that's horrible. That's dark. Did I? Why did I say that? Why is that now? That's on camera. That's out there in the ether. I don't have to put it up there. But, you know. I bet she thought about it. She's unhinged. I mean, like, what? She's unhinged. Whoops. She's unhinged.